What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. My buddy's here. Oh. The UPS guy. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, that plane that I lost in the woods, I, I reordered a new one. I couldn't find it. I went out there. I couldn't find it. How's it going, man? Yeah, that's for me. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. Yep. Uh, yeah, so I actually... Uh, it is. It is. It's like solid ice. I thought, I thought there was sand down, actually. Girlfriend is like me. She's like, she's like, got the calling, like the witch thing, like the witch thing runs in my family. I'm like, dude, I'm like super witch. Like I got. My mom's a witch. Well, I'm a witch. Well, I, I she's fucking like white do. witch or something like that or what, whatever she says it is. Everybody. White magic. Well, I, yeah, it's good magic. Yeah, that's the she's black good, magic. Good, magic. good magic. I'm half and half, which I gotta be careful because I, I dip into the dark magic. We'll keep using it on uh, Wayne and no, Seth, and we'll be all right. No, I'm just kidding. No, I, well, I use it on Seth. It's way because he, he behaves so well. Fucking, he, he doesn't know nothing about nothing, and I let him be himself the other day, and all I did was rip into people, shit on people, and I was like, see, this is why I didn't want to pee with him, because this is how he really is in real life. Like, he, the fucking old stuff came out, and I was like, nope, put Pandora back in the fucking box. <laughs> you know, back in the day when we were younger, when we were kids, he wasn't like that. No, something like happened that, after right. the truck accident, I'm telling you, when he got hit by the truck and had to fucking recover <clears throat> it might have been that. go through all that shit. I, th I, think it, I, I think it was the overdose, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think so, too. The air compressed around <clears> the chest. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. I was the angel on his shoulder that night. I, I knew mm -hmm. what happened, and it, I, I was like, where is that? Oh, I'm talking about his first overdose. He, he told me only about one. No, it was years ago. He told me he only did it once. No, his mother had to fucking rush him to the hospital. His air got left up against the door by that dude that was smoking with him. And no, no, no. This, this was, um... All kinds <clears throat> of different stories. Hold on, let me pause this. Yeah. Just... Alright, guys, sorry about that. That was my, uh, my sister-in-law. So, guys... As you guys saw, the UPS guy just came. I was actually waiting here for him because I actually have to go into my mother and father's house and grab the um, uh, T-shirts because the T-shirts are in too. I also made a T-shirt for my daughter because she got that buzzer beater three-pointer at the end of her game. I put that up on my, my channel as well so you guys can check that out if you want. Uh, she literally, with five seconds left on the clock, nailed a three from the top of the range, man swoosh so i made her a t-shirt that says uh wyndham basketball on the top and then down bottom it says buzzer beater nice because that's what i do for my kids I'm, I'm very thoughtful that way uh but yes guys we will be doing a re-unbox what's happening guys welcome back to the channel I'm gonna try to do this quietly but at the same time I just have so many emotions running through me right now and and uh, I'm, st I'm just so happy right now <sighs> I'm sad and happy at the same time I don't know if that makes any sense but so what I went ahead and did was so what I'm going to dub this video is Free wing, 80 millimeter saber, unbox, 2.0. <laughs> um, and yes, I thought of that all by myself. I do not know what is going on with my phone right now, but I'm getting these pop-up ads that trump everything in my phone so if i'm recording the pop-up ad comes on boom it shuts down my recording it shuts off my calls it throws me out of a text message if i'm writing a text it should not do that that is beyond annoying because it just happened again so thank you u.s cellular <laughs> don't ever go to u.s cellular uh, if if u.s cellular was a fast food chain, it would be 
I don't know. They wouldn't be a chain at all. They'd be that greasy burger store at the end of your street that had the cockroaches running across the floor drinking 40s with one another, like throwing pass with a beanie weenie and singing We Are Family. Um, yeah, that's that's what I think of. Yeah. But anyways, Unbox 2.0, guys. Free wing. 80 millimeter saber. Unbox 2.0. So, I would have done this video earlier, but my daughter had a basketball game tonight, and uh, it was an away game, and it was all the way out in South Portland. Um, South Portland happens to be the number one power ranked team for JV this year. And we won. We won. We held the lead the lead the entire game. The coach, I'll make I'm gonna make another video about that because some of the girls didn't get to play. And what I tried to explain to my daughter, my daughter is a great basketball player. She's a, a excellent defender. Good luck trying to get anywhere near that hoop if my daughter's guarding you. The problem is, is all the rest of those girls played the last two years, three years, and uh, she decided not to, so she's got some catching up to do. Is she a good basketball player? Yeah. She's got to work on some things. She needs to be able to dribble with her eyes up instead of looking down at the ground, and uh, I see that a lot of girls that do that on the team. If you watch the, uh, the, the videos, I, I, I record every game. So, if you guys watch it, you'll see what I mean. You can tell the ones that have put the time in because they can dribble with their eyes up. And uh, Kayla has a hard time doing that, as, as well as a few other girls on the team. They have a hard time doing that as well. But the one thing that Kayla has that uh, some of the other girls don't have is the ability to just go on a tear. She's my daughter. I've coached her. I coached her all the way up until she got to sixth grade. And uh, all those girls that she plays basketball with on those J on that JV team, I've coached pretty much all those girls uh, at one point in time or another. So uh, I helped develop those girls into what you guys see um, in the games that I record. Um, I know every one of them. Uh, there's a couple of new girls in there that didn't play guys that, while they were younger, but play now. Uh, but Kayla got upset because <clears throat> the coach made an executive decision. Uh, instead of giving the bench players playing time, the game was so close. And uh, it was 19 to, 19 to 29 or 19 to 30 <clears throat> or 31. And uh, they got opportunities to go on a six nothing or seven nothing tear which brought them into two points away from time three points away from uh going into the lead the coach did exactly what i would have done at that time we got the ball back in our possession got it across half court called timeout i actually as a matter of fact right as he called timeout i was actually thinking that that's what i would have done if i was coaching as well he's a great coach <clears throat> and my daughter didn't play tonight and uh, I'm not one of those fathers that's like, hey, you got to play my daughter. You got to play my daughter. I'm a coach. I understand. I get it. And at that particular time, what he needed was his best five in that game. And that's what he did. Wasn't anything personal. But like I explained to my daughter, his decision made it so that you guys walked out of that building, out of their house, with a victory, instead of potentially putting one of you guys in, and we could have lost the game. Once I explained that to her, kind of softened the blow a little bit. But I feel as though the coach did the right thing. Uh, when we played our last game of the season against Thornton Academy, we did the same thing as football coaches. <clears throat> the best players are going to be on the field. It's no hard feelings, but the best players are going to be on the field. In that game. Um, it's a hard decision. It's hard to sit there and watch a girl sit there. Knowing that you've given her no playing time all night. It's hard to do that as a coach. 
But at the same time, it's even harder to watch those girls upset and crying because they lost. They're seven and one right now, or six and one right now. They've only lost one game. And that was their first game of the season. And if we played those guys again right now, we'd probably beat the snot out of them because we're just that much better of a team. The problem with that first game was we were missing all of our shots. We had, oh my God, so many shots on, on target, just a little bit off. And uh, nothing was dropping for us that night. And we still ended up losing only by a few points. So this is a very good JV team that they have. Um, and uh, I'll be making a video. Like I said, I'll be making a video about that later. I feel as though that the coach made the right decision for his girls. Boys teams are a little different. They don't get quite as eh over a game. If it's a championship game, they get eh. The boys do. But if it's just a regular exhibition game or a regular just, you know, game like it was tonight, boys, they're just meh. <clears throat> it is what it is. How many points did I get? Did you see that? Did you see that that play that I made? They're, they're all about uh, individuality uh, at this age. And the girls are not. They believe in helping one another out and being that team. And that's why they're doing so good this year. Uh, they're also doing well because, hey, man, the coach that they have, I, I have to say that I, I could do no better. Everything, all the decisions that he makes, it's kind of funny. I'm sitting over there thinking in my head as he's making those decisions and, and, and calling out the timeouts and stuff. Great minds think alike. And he's a great coach. And he, from what I can tell, he's a, he's a good person. <clears throat> and uh, I like him. And he always comes dressed in like a suit or like a sweater. You know, he's, he's dressed up casually like a real basketball coach would, uh, like a, 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 a professional. And uh, I like that about him. I like professionality. Uh, when I go out somewhere, when I go out like to a fancy restaurant or something, if I would ever do that, I'd be dressed to impress, man. I'd probably wear, I'd probably wear my class A's or my class B's out just, just to wear them again, but, uh, dress to impress. Anyways, back to the unbox. So you guys know the t-shirts came today. So, um, uh, there's two in each pack. I got two mediums and two larges. One of these larges is for Skip. Um, and the other large is probably going to be for like, uh, I don't know. I can't think of his name now. Uh, the medium shirts are for the two kids from the football team that uh, wanted t-shirts. Um, they've been bugging me since I got the other two t kids t-shirts. You know, when are they going to get theirs? When are they going to get theirs? Well, I had to wait until after Christmas and after the first of the month to be able to do that. Now, guys. I could have, by all means, bought the Raptor. Well, let me explain why I decided to not buy the Raptor right now. And I decided to repurchase this. Um, well, first thing is, is that the Raptor is going to do me no good right now. It's going to be doing the same thing that A10 Warthog and that F14 are doing. Sitting there. Why? Because... It's just not, it's, that's, I don't think that that's going to be a particularly good plane uh, to fly at my field. So, and I, I owe this bitch a rematch. Do over. That's a do over. This right here, that right there, that's a do over. I like do overs. Uh, because uh, when I did that one over, I knew how to fly at that time and things went considerably better. And I'm hoping that the same thing goes for this one. Not to mention, I'm putting my own gyro in this this time. Uh, it's probably a gyro that most of you guys are not familiar with at all, but I am very familiar with it. Um, and I've explained what gyro that was. Uh, it's just a two axis gyro elevator aileron. And typically I don't put anything on the elevator and just a tad bit on the ailerons and then gradually turn it down until I don't need it anymore. For some reason, the gyro <clears throat> that Freewing uses, Freewing has, um, it's a different kind of gyro altogether. Uh, it's not quite the same as the one that I use. Uh, and I can feel the difference in the plane. It does it now is it that it flies worse or better? Or, no, it's not that at all. The gyro works fine. The, the, the Freewing gyro works great. I'm not saying that it doesn't. But, um, the gyro that I use automatically puts in, uh, 
toned down rates. It automatically tones the rates of the plane down so you don't have to mess with that. You just put a little bit of expo in and that's it. Slows the roll rate down, uh, makes it much more controllable. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing this time. Doing it the way I've done with all the rest of these planes. None of these other planes in here, any of them, have free wing gyros in them. They all have two, what do they call that? A two, two FX. A2X3 or something like that. It's an AS2X. AS2X, that's what it's called. AS2X. Uh, like the S3, AS3X, this is an AS2X. Um, I like it personally. But let's get into this, guys. Unbox 2.0. Sorry for the battling. Sorry for the rundown on the basketball team. But like I said, this isn't just an RC channel. Uh, both of my kids play sports. I'm glad my daughter got back into basketball this year. Uh, because we wouldn't be talking about it right now. We'd be talking about just planes. And sometimes that, sometimes that can get a little monotonous. So it's good to have my daughter playing basketball again. My my son plays football. I coach his football team. And uh, yeah, we're very sport oriented around here. If you haven't noticed. But I'm gonna pause the video right now, guys, uh, just for a second, so that I can pull this cover off. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back. All right, I'm back, guys. Have you ever had one of those days where you just feel like that you've done the same thing sometime before? Like deja vu? I don't know. I'm just I'm having that feeling right now, and I don't, I don't know why. I can't think of why. But uh, here we go, guys. Uh, I just want to look at this one and see if it's got that. Yeah, see? Look. It's got that same spot. If you watch my first unbox video on this, there's this little spot right here, and it's a hole. Watch. I'll put, watch. Look. It's a freaking hole. But that's okay because this whole wing slides in to that line. So you don't even see that it's there at first when I first saw that. And it's going to be on the other wing as well. That is right where the... No, that's not where that goes through. I can't remember exactly why it was there. I actually ended up finding out later why it was. I think it has to do with something in that with that wheel with that wheel. I ended up figuring it out on on the other saber uh, before we ditched her in the woods. Boy, that still kills me, guys. That's still, I mean, I'm 99.9% .9 all better now because this is sitting in front of me with a whole new um, approach to it than last time. I'm gonna go to go back to what I know. I tried something new. See, I have a free wing gyro in my f-14 and it did just fine in the f-14 but for some reason for some reason uh the saber uh it didn't agree with it for some reason or it was the combination not agreeing with me i think that's more or less what it was but they got this little little tiny carbon fiber spar for these wings and uh I don't know. There was things that I was noticing about it last time. Like when you come barreling around a corner in this thing, uh, you can see these wings flex. And that is the only piece of uh, tubing that goes in. And it only goes to like right here, guys. So this whole wing is like legit. Just It's just wing. So if you get speed happy. Am I zoomed in? No, okay. If you get speed happy, and as right as I'll show you right here, if you look right here launch Boop. what's that it's another hole it's a hole i have no idea every one of these sabers has those holes in that same spot um look guys i'm not beat up too much about it in the in the fact that <clears throat> i lost the plane and i'm not mad at the fact that i embarrassed myself on camera losing the plane uh it's, it's all about the fact that what kills me the most and what gets to me the most, and Skip, you could probably attest to this, it was the fact that I couldn't find it, you guys. If I would have found it in a million pieces, completely ready for the trash can, I would have had some satisfaction in 
the outcome. Um, ventral fin, guys. Wow, looks exactly like the first one. <laughs> kind of pointless to do this unbox, but you know what, guys? Um, I'm doing it because I think that every one of my planes that I bought has had an unbox. And for some reason, I'm, I'm a little superstitious. And I have a feeling that if I, if I don't do an unbox video on this Saber 2.0 style, that I'm setting myself up for failure. I don't know what went wrong with the first one, except for the fact that I was using a, a different gyro. But, like I said, I was comfortable with that gyro. Oh, sorry. Uh, these are your elevators. And the cool thing about the 80 millimeter in comparison to the 64 millimeter is the 80 millimeters are actually dihedral. So they actually flare. And uh, the uh, 64 millimeter saber, they're just not, like straight across, straight. Um, I honestly think that they fly exactly the same, except for one's bigger, one's smaller. Uh, so go ahead. I'm just going to keep you guys with me here because we're almost done. Uh, I'm actually going to put this together tonight and, uh, get her fired up just to make sure. Hold on guys. I sit down for just a second. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Do, 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 do. Time's up. Put down your pencils. I'm Alex Trebek. And you are. On Jeopardy. Uh, yes, Alex. Could I have uh, Dumbass loses his 80 millimeter saber because he loses orientation for 500, please? And that is the Daily Double. Da -na 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 -na. This asshole lost an expensive plane and then decided to start GPSing them. Uh, who is Dave's RC? That is correct. How much did he wager? Everything. That puts him in the lead, ladies and gentlemen. Can you tell I've watched that show a little bit? My grandmother used to watch it all the time before she died. That and Wheel of Fortune. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm going to take this plastic off of this fuse so that we can look at it again. And so that... Oh... Let me look. I'm just looking at something, guys. Hold on. And so that my buddy out there can look up the old skirt. Uh, fire blade. Hold on. I'll be right back, guys. All right. I'm back. And here's the other thing that I'm really curious about. The first... Hold on. The first one that I had, that I bought, um, for some weird reason, whatever that may be... Um, I have two brand new sets of tanks now for this, so we're good in that department. Um, I'm going to pull this out of here and I'm just, I'm just curious to see if they're all the same or I just, I just, I just got a dud that time, but let me explain what was going on. So when I would put the canopy on, okay, um, it was loose. It would slide back and forth, slide back and forth a little bit. And it always made me nervous that it was going to pop off in flight. So let's see if this one fits snug, you guys. Hold on. Let's get that out of there. Push that down. Oh, no. That one fits much better, you guys. Wow. Much more snug. Like this one is like fitting, fitting like a glove, you guys. Not like O.J. Simpson's glove when he tried them on nice and dry and small. But when they actually softened them up with a little bit of water and then put those same gloves on them and they fit like a glove. Is that what East Ventura used to say? Like a glove. Love that guy, by the way. You guys seen the movie Truman? What an absolutely amazing job he did in that movie, you guys. That just shows you right there that Jim Carrey was born to be an actor. And he is one of the greats. I don't care what anybody says. Jim Carrey, I'll take that to the grave. Jim Carrey is an awesome actor. Just like people shitting on Leonardo DiCaprio. 
you go watch that movie. Um, what the fuck was that called? Oh, I can't think of it now. I will think of it though. Um, but he's a fucking great actor. Great actor. I think people are just jealous of him. That's all. It's all jealousy. That's what it is. All right, guys. So um, this time I am going to put the tanks on pew, down there. Uh, and the reason for that is I'm going to paint them a uh, obnoxiously uh, jacked up color um, that is super bright. Uh, ridiculous. Uh, I have orange tape on this one for the longest time. I had orange tape on it. Oh, it's still on there. That's right. All right hold on. Let me, I'll show you why I did it. Um, bam orange tape on the top man boom 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 every time that orange tape is facing me I know that the plane is yeah and not yeah so um, so many times just seeing that little bit of orange saved this bad boy this thing should be crunch city like five times over again the reason that the front's all messed up that is just from landing this thing never took a nose plant that's all from just landing, 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 landing. That plastic piece that they give you, it's kind of a joke. It doesn't really work well, and it's, like, really brittle, and it'll break, like, the first time. So you, what I do is I put it on there and then threw duct tape over it to, uh, well, if you can't duck it, fuck it. Duct tape, <laughs> duct tape makes things that are shitty better. Um, but that's it, guys. I mean, I'm sure the instruction booklet hasn't changed since the last time I bought one of these. Um Um, I'm, I'm actually, I'm happier about this purchase than I would about, would have been about buying the 6S or the 6S Raptor right now. I could have bought the 6S Raptor. That could be sitting on this table right now, but I don't want the 6S Raptor. I want an ARF so that I could put my own EDF and my own ESC in it. I like the results that I got uh, got uh, when I did that to the Avani because that actually has an A10 Warthog uh, fan and motor, just like the A10 Warthog. Same exact one in there. And uh, the 100 amp ESC that you would actually get in the Avani anyway. So, the only difference that we're going to have between this plane, besides the gyro, the gy new gyro I'm putting in it, and the one that I lost is this one's going to have the stock 80 amp ESC. And in the one that I lost, I upgraded it to 100 amp ESC. So <clears throat> we're kind of going backwards a little bit, but we got the plane in front of us. That's a start. Like I said, I could have had the 6S Raptor here, but I don't want a 6S Raptor. I want the 8S Raptor and I want to put a JP fan in it. That's that. I don't care if it's all metal. That's what I want to do with that plane. Um, I want to put the JP fan in it with like 150 amp ESC and sorry about that guys there. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, like I said, um, I'm just going to wait for the ARFs to come back in because, uh, not that the stock s systems in these planes aren't good enough. <clears throat> I'm sure that the 8S setup that free wing provides is, would be adequate enough for my skill level anyways, but I want to go all out with that Raptor. I'm going to do thrust vectoring on it. Not just thrust vectoring up and down either. <clears throat> I thought that that was pretty cool that uh, Tired Iron, Tired Iron, they did that. I want mine to do Elevon. I want them to go up and down together, but I also want them to mix together like, uh, like they should. Like the true um, thrust vectoring does on the Raptor. I'm going to go all in on that thing and it is going to be modded to the to the teeth. I'm telling you, man. Um, another thing that I'm doing to this Saber before uh, she goes airborne is uh, I'm putting a green light uh, in here in the intake. It's going to be flush with this. It's just going to be flush down there and it's going to have a wire running back and it's going to have a switch with a 9-volt battery. That's it. And then it's going to have another light uh, in the ass end and it's not going to be like a whatever they call that um it's not going to be afterburner style it's just going to be on all the time it's going to be a light strictly for orientation so if it's coming towards me i'll see the green light if it's going away from me i'll see an orange light 
uh, two very distinct, distinctively different colors. And uh, it just so happens that luckily those are the two colors that I actually have. <laughs> so I don't have to purchase anything. I can just do it. So um, wired to a switch, which is then in turn wired to a 9-volt battery, which is plugged in all the time until you uh, flip the switch. It stays plugged in just like, you know, any other normal setup would be and then if the battery goes dead i change the nine volt battery out no big deal there are a dime a dozen down at the dollar store i don't i mean we're talking about lighting up two small leds it's not going to be it's not going to be a lot of power so um i'm rambling on because i'm really excited that this is back sitting on my table again i wanted to get this one before i got many of these ones that are in here um Theoretically, it should have been the plane that I bought right after that Dynam or that Freewing 262 because that's what the uh, that's what my order was before. <clears throat> and then I ended up going ape shit and getting sports, uh, the P47. Uh, and then I got the what did I buy? Oh, the sports planes. Then I went nuts on the sports planes and the L39. And then the one that I bought just before this one. Uh, is that um, intruder down there poor intruder she hasn't even been in the air yet she's just sitting over there like <clears throat> that's right we have to go maiden that intruder <laughs> I forgot all about the intruder you guys we have to go maiden that we haven't even done a maiden flight on it yet I, that totally slipped my mind We'll get her done now. We'll get her done. That's it, guys. Uh, I'll let the video go way too long. This is a super long 2.0 unbox that we've already done before. Uh, but at the same time, um, I'm, I'm kind of happy right now that I get to experience this plane back on my table again. Uh, I was uh, actually in the pilot's lounge the other night with Captain Mike um, and uh, uh, Pilot Ryan. And um, I was in the mess uh, chat. Uh, talking with those guys and some of the other uh, RC uh, YouTubers from around the uh, uh, community. And um, I uh, I told them that I lost this plane and lost orientation of it. And they should go check out the video. And they wanted me to send a link of that and then a link of the paint scheme that I put on my L39. You know, so, you know, I was really actually having a conversation with them and talking to them. And I put, I put down there that uh, I cried when I lost it. Actually, I cried when I couldn't find it, I said. And uh, Pilot Ryan was like, did you really cry, Dave? And I said, almost, man, almost. I was getting a little choked up because uh, I was, it, was, it was more tears of anger than it was tears of sadness. It was more tears of like the choking, the chokingness that I was feeling was uh, because I couldn't find it. And I had like thoughts racing through my mind that the hunters that were out there got mad because I flew over them, scared their deer away, and they found it and they took it and they probably just trash canned it or fucking put it on Craigslist or something. I don't know. Uh, but I know that if somebody scared my potential deer away for the hunting season because of one of these planes and it crashed in front of me somewhere, yeah, I'd probably go stomp that thing out and throw some fire to it myself. But... There weren't no goddamn deer around there. Trust me. I know the signs. I've lived here my whole life. There were no fresh droppings around that entire area. I searched that entire area for this plane, and not once did I see fresh droppings. I saw one little tiny bed area where they were bedding down, but it could have been, you know, days old. There weren't no deer out there, especially after that damn saber went flying above them. I'm sure they didn't stick around very long after that. Oh, guys, also, uh, real quick, uh, to end the video, I have a GPS drone coming with a 4K 1080p 60 frames or 80 frames per second or 90 frames per second uh, with the capability of just putting it in the air and it follows my plane around. Ridiculous, right? Oh, my God, guys. Oh, my God. I'm so excited, guys. Uh, I found this thing uh, on a 50% clearance. For a hundred bucks, uh, originally it was four hundred and something dollars. They marked it down to like two something, and then they put it on like a fifty percent sale. So I ended up getting it for like a little over a hundred bucks. And uh, this thing is literally five star ratings across the board. There wasn't one bad one on there. 
And if there was a bad one on there, it was one of the ones that were written in a foreign language that I couldn't read or understand anyway. So, but all of the uh, uh, English speaking people <laughs> raved about it. Unreal. The only thing that they suggested was if you buy it, phony up uh, the extra, like whatever it was, 25 bucks to get uh, the 4K camera on it. Um, that was the only thing that they suggested. And that's what I did. I can't wait to get this thing. I got it with uh, three batteries. It's going to come with three batteries. Um, and apparently it can stay up for 14 minutes if you just put it in its little mode and let it do its thing. You let it lock onto the plane. Once it locks onto the plane and it catches sight of it, which you probably have to pass in front of the camera or something like that, or have somebody fly it up to the plane while, you know, to intercept the path. And once it catches it, it goes and it just follows that motherfucker around, man. I can't wait to see this thing work. Uh, the people uh, that did the reviews, they all said that it worked awesome. They couldn't have been happier for the money that they spent on it. It was an absolute no brainer and they're glad that they did it. So, I mean, when you have 60 plus people saying that same thing over and over again, uh, it was hard to pass up. <laughs> it was the only one on there for that price with that kind of uh rating so uh yeah guys um <sighs> exciting times i also have a um dynam pits biplane coming that um i'm excited to be getting it's the red version uh the one that ryan flies on the demonstration video for motion rc and i bought that specifically to have as a fun flyer because i want to learn how to fly the best way to learn how to fly is to have something as stable and as agile as a Pitts bi biplane. I mean, you can't learn on anything better, I don't think. High wing trainer, biplane. You can't go wrong. I've talked enough. I'm Dave. This is Dave's RC. Sorry, guys, but uh, I just have a little bit of excitement going through me right now. And I just can't hide it. Um, that's it, guys. 80 millimeter saber. Oh, sorry, Fireblade. Here you go. As we're signing out here, I'm gonna go ahead and let you look up her skirt. This is her sister. This is the sister to the last one, so. Bang. For fuck's sakes, man, that looks like the A10 fan right there. That looks exactly like the fan that I have in uh, the Avani. Except this one has a slightly weaker motor. The Avani has a well, it has the motors that go in this, so they're more powerful than what pushes this thing around. Um, but that's it, guys. I'm Dave. This is Dave's RC. Skip, bro, I'm glad you got out and flew that F-16, bro. I'm, I'm proud of you that you went out and did that. That took some real courage. Oh, sorry. Where, where, where am I at? Uh, that took some real courage to get out and do that. Uh, I get it, man. There's only so many times you can go out and put a plane up or try to put a plane up. And, you know, what happened to your A-10 and what happened to my Sabre? Uh I mean, that was enough to shut me down for quite some time. So I can imagine when you beat up that A-10 of yours, um, I know how you feel, bro. I know how you feel. I feel you. Um, you get no criticism from me because uh, I get it. Uh, love you, bro. T-shirt's down there. Uh, I just got your, um, uh, your text message with your address. I'm going to send it out like tomorrow. Uh, that way you can get it and wear it in your video. At least one video. Um, that's it, guys. I'm Dave. This is Dave's RC. We'll get back to you after she's done built and she's on the table and uh, functioning. Peace.